Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the 2019 Fleetwood Pacero 36U diesel pusher. We're gonna check out the outside features first, then the inside. Let's get started. Great, so let's get started. This is a diesel pusher, 340 horsepower, Cummings engine on a Freightliner chassis. Straight rail, not raised rail. Tip to tip length is 37 feet, seven inches. And it has two slide outs, one in the bedroom right there and the other one in the living area on that side. It has the big 22.5 inch tires. Right there, there is a little bit of storage. And this is a doggy window. Also, it has frameless windows throughout the whole RV, except right there on the door. Right here, here's one of your fuel tanks. You have fuel tanks on both sides, so it's gonna be easy to fill up. 90 gallon fuel tank. Right here's the propane. And then here, this one, nice storage. And yep, even here storage. Now it does have pass-through storage, goes all the way through, but once I say a straight rail chassis and a raised rail chassis, this is what I mean. This is called a straight rail chassis. So it is obstructing some of your storage, some of your pass-through storage. You still get pass-through storage, but not as much. A raised rail chassis makes it so this whole storage area is available. That is better, but it's more expensive. You're gonna be looking at a motorhome that's over $200,000 sale price, where to save a little bit of money, they use the straight rail. So it's not as much storage, but it's a lot lower price point. And then this second one, you have storage under there. And then the third one, you have storage under there. Also, these are all aluminum slam latch doors. Let's check out this on it. Power awning with LED lights at the end of the awning. And then back here, a little bit more storage, trying to use and maximize as much storage as they can. And then a little bit more there. So coming around the back, here's your engine. I love the lights in the back, it looks awesome. You do have a backup camera there. Also you have left and right blinker um, cameras, so you can see that from when you're driving. And then note, this part is very important. Your hitch is rated for 10,000 pounds, but this motorhome cannot tow 10,000 pounds. The GCWR on this is 33,000 pounds. That's the gross combined weight rating of what this weighs and how much it can tow. So this one here in particular weighs 24,424 pounds. So then you minus that from the 33,000 and then this right now as it stands can tow 8,575 pounds. But that's before you put anything inside of it. So every pound you put inside, it's taking away from how much you can tow. So if you put a thousand pounds in, that's a great average. Uh, now the max you can tow is about 7,500 pounds. That's very important. Make sure you know the difference between a 10,000 pound hitch and a unit that can tow 10,000 pounds. And that's also another reason to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This right here is where your batteries are and surge protector. And then this is where you hook up your power, 50 amp power. And then right here, this is your DEF. And you need to fill up your DEF about every three tanks. And then finishing up the outside, this is your docking station, your low point valve. It's where you hook up your city water and everything. And then here, this is the other side of your storage. And then here, a little bit more storage, but I would use this last because there's some electronics there and everything. Also, you do have a diesel generator. It's a Cummings 6000 generator, and you get access to it from the front there. The outside of this RV looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Great, so coming on the inside, this is beautiful RV, two slide outs, mid entry door right here. 
You don't have the front bus style door. There is pros and cons to both of them. And you do get a bunk over the cab, which can hold 5,000 pounds. Oh, that's funny. Look at that, that's a design flaw. Uh, it's pretty funny. Check that out, Fleetwood. Make sure you don't open up that door all the way. So here it is, you have a little pad there. Also, you can get an air mattress to go on top. Also, this is a neat little feature, these hooks. I am 99% sure that those are there so you can clip like a privacy curtain for if somebody is sleeping in the bunk over the cab. Up front, right there, you do have a doggy window. You have these nice seats, very comfortable. Air ride suspension. You have a cup holder here, windows, privacy blind here, power drop down blind right there. And then you have cabinets above here. And then right here in the driver's seat, this is on a Freightliner chassis, so you can have a telescoping, uh, telescoping steering wheel. Here's what that means. It can go up and down and in and out. So you can adjust the steering wheel to fit whatever makes you comfortable. That is the air brakes and the air ride, so when you're driving down the road, it's smooth. Right here, you do have your Allison transmission, 2500. Uh, this is where all your switches are. Here is my view from the driver's seat. You can see outside. All right, let's get this baby started. Very, very quiet because the engine is in the rear. You have your reverse, your left blinker, and right blinker. Then it always shows in reverse. And then you have your radio right here. Here's where you can start your generator, air conditioning control, up and down visor, privacy. Oh, that's, that's a cool feature. So it won't go down any farther because the engine's on. And I guarantee you when I turn the engine off, it will go all the way down. Here's your control panel. And you do have a pre-trip checklist. Great, so now we're gonna check out the kitchen area, but first, we're gonna look at this fridge. This is a great residential fridge, and it is huge. Freezer down at the bottom. Now this is all electric. Here's a little clip right there so it doesn't fly open when you make a turn. If you have a motorhome already, you know what I'm talking about. And this is all electric. It runs off a 2000 watt inverter with two batteries dedicated to this refrigerator. And then over here, this kitchen area is great. You have a countertop extender right there, a lot of storage, nice cabinetry right there. A little bit of storage under the bottom. You have dual sinks solid surface countertops this is very very nice i like this sink right here and then we have an induction stove top but because of that you don't have those cheap blinds right here like you'll see in a lot of rvs you still have your privacy blind just like that you don't have those metal ones that are gonna cackle everywhere and then this is induction which is great you have three drawers down here and then right here is your microwave convection oven, which is great, it's big size. You have storage right there. Uh, that's your breaker box. So no storage right there, breaker box, but you have your storage up here. And then right here, you do have pantry. It's nice with the slide out drawers. And I do like the tile backsplash. Here's your dinette. You have four sets of seat belts two here and two there. Cup holders on the dinette, it does drop down to make a bed. Those cup holders are a big deal. And then you have storage above, there, and there. And then here's your privacy blinds and your daytime blinds. Great, here in the living room, standard, you get the long sofa, but my customers who ordered this did get it 
with the individual reclining seats. There are seat belts in both of them. And let me tell you, these are comfortable. You have your cup holders here, and then you kick back and relax. This is very, very nice. And then across, you have a fireplace here that does produce heat. Here's a nice big LG TV with a little bit of storage behind there. A little bit, not too much. And then a little bit more storage up there, good for DVDs. And then here is your half bath in the middle. You have a nice porcelain toilet right there, sink with a little bit of storage underneath, inside. And then you have cabinets, medicine cabinets above there. And then right there is your towel holders. You have a window there, another cabinet right there, and a fantastic fan right up there to help circulate from here. Great, here in the bedroom, this slide out does go out another foot and a half. I'm just too close to something to get it out. And it is a king size bed with the tilt of view. And right there you push power and it lays flat, but it does have to be up during travel because it makes the bedroom so much spacious. Right here, you have a ton of storage right there with hangers, same on this side, huge storage. Your TV right here, this swings open. You got storage right there, your satellite and everything is right there. This is a cool feature. Uh, you can put your stuff there and you can't really tell it blends in very well. You have three drawers right here. Very nice. You have a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. That's great. And then three more drawers right there. And then the bathroom is incredible. So to get started, you do have a porcelain toilet, a window right there, uh, privacy and daytime shades. And then this is weird. You have a step flush there. Also, you have an electric flush. And I've never seen two. So if, if you've seen two or you know why they do that, leave a comment below. Um, I'm always learning myself and I don't know why they do that. And then you have a ton of storage right there. And then the sink area is right there. You got drawers, storage underneath and drawers. Above is the medicine cabinet. A lot of storage. And then this shower is amazing. Glass door. Look at this shower. This is great. You got plenty of space. You have a nice seat here. You can sit all the way back. A great size shower. And I like the uh, glass front right there. Great, that wraps up this video. Make sure if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If you want more information about this RV or any other RVs we have, feel free to send me an email. It's matt at leosrv.com or mattsellsrvs at gmail.com. Or you can send me a text directly. My cell number is 301-906-0962. I always recommend that you buy from your local dealership. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.